Right, good morning everyone. Now, um, I've got this small canvas picture, wooden disc, that I'm going to use for the corners. I did find some of my old cards that I've cut, so I'm going to use this one, I think, or that one. No, this one, I think. And I need to round off the edges. So I just use something like this that's uh, round. And then we do that. Hopefully, my scissors... What it is, I'm, I want to do a shelf for a miniature. And I thought, what better way than to do, a, you know, instead of a mirror in the middle. I am going to be doing another room. Well, that doesn't look right, Fee. Let's get it going. That's more like it. So I'm going to need that. I don't need that anymore. I, I want to put it on here, so that will need to be decorated. That's going to go on there. And then what I'm going to do is use a piece of the chipboard from yesterday. And like I said, never, ever waste. I'm going to do a shelf there and a hanger underneath, what do you think? You know, like, so it's going to be in the hallway, like that. So, now what I need to do is to measure this. I need two of these, but one smaller than the other. What did I just do? we can cut that now don't waste that piece you cut off oh you're gonna need a piece so that'll be fine uh, with the other piece that I cut off I'm going to need a smaller one and I'm going to do it about that size But I need to round those off as well. So I'm going to do it by eye, but you can use something if you choose. you see if that looks about right. Nope. <laughs> that does. Yeah, and that's going to sit above that one. So we now need to round that one off. Let's just make sure we've got this about right. I do a lot of things by eye, folks. It's, uh, I like doing it. There we go. So I'm going to need that piece and I might need a little bit more. Uh, we need to cut some plinths. So I'm now going to cut that in half and then cut that diagonally. Like that. When you straighten all of them out, that's not a problem. What I need to do now is to fix this bottom shelf on here and I'm going to glue it on and when you're doing something like this take your time I have to make sure that's about right Okay, 
and then our plinths sit in there. And we straight away get that plinth in there. Again, we're doing that plinth. And I don't fuss about that. I can just cut that off. And any excess glue will just peel off. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. That's a little shelf. And I also want this one to go here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on the plinth first. So we need that to be there. And that to be there. I'm just going to cut these down a little bit as well. That looks about right. Oops. Let's glue that in again. That's it. And then I can place that just where I want it, roughly there. Yeah. When you're doing miniatures, you do have to spend some time um, you know, getting it right. You can't just rush them really. When I paint it, it's all going to be gold. So you've got the bit of glue in there. So I'm just going to take that off. That's fine, I'm happy with that. But I'm going to need a rim around that and you see that will sit there. Now I could put a mirror. Let me just see, I might make it into a vanity set uh, you know, and then make a stool or something to go with it. Now that would have gone nice, wouldn't it? Let me see if I've got a frame. Just move that to one side. See if there's anything I can use as a frame or to decorate. You see, because if we've got the mirror like that, but I want something here. See, I, I'd need, let me see what other size mirror. Now I've only got another one of them, so. We could take that off, but I wanted like a Victorian one. I could get that to go there, that would look nice. And then I could split this because I've got a left and a right. Let me just see if I can split it. Ooh, I did. And that would go like that. Oh, now that would be pretty, wouldn't it? That top shelf on. That's the question. No, because I won't be able to put anything on it. I'm going to take the top shelf off. It won't matter about any of that. 
So it's all going to be painted. <coughs> so that's okay. Leave that. Right, so we're going to use those and we don't need those. But what I am going to need are some uh, hooks. See, that could sit in there. That. I don't actually need that. We can glue that in there. We need a handle for that, which I've got wire I can use. Let me just leave that out. That's what I'm after. Okay, right. So, what I'm going to do at the moment, <coughs> I'm going to use the glossy accents to get this going. I need my mats. Like I say, just bear with me. I need that. I'm just going to put a dab of glue on that and rest that <coughs> on there. Might do it that way, might be better. I think that's okay. So that has to dry. And then I have to glue this into that. And then I need a, a bit of wire to make a hook. I need to make some hooks. I'm going to use those out of here, I think. I'm going to need my pliers. See, I have them all labelled. What I've got, little jars. They're um, oh, yogurts. And I keep them, they're easy to just stack. Right, what I'm going to have to do with these, I need my pliers, I need my cutters, I need another pair of pliers, and I need to make, right, okay. So if I do that, and then flatten that out as much as I can, and then I need to cut it. Okay, so we need that dry. Oh, don't do this to me. Okay, that is going to be the handle that's going to go on the base and then we will just roll this in. Like an ornate handle. See like that. And then we flatten it, there. There's my ornate handle for my candle holder. So that's finished. Uh, like I say, now I need the hooks. So let me cut these in half. And we need at least two. So we're going to Turn it down, that's why you might need two pairs of pliers, like that. So that will glue onto the underneath there, and we could always put it in the shelf, but I want, it, I want them underneath, three of them, that's what I need. So, I do need to grab that, let's bring it in a little bit, it's like a hook. What I'm going to do is, I think, is to put the hole in, then that'll go through. And we can have a hook like that. I may need to cut these a little bit, we'll see. 
bring that out a little bit and then bring that in. That'll do. That's fine. I'm okay with them. Right. So I need my Sharpie tool. That's one. Two. Three. Now that's fine, them hold. Not fussed about them at all. I'm just going to snip this off again, I think. If I can. Like that. Let's have a look. See, it's not as easy as it looks. Let me use this one. I think the things on that was too. For some unknown reason, it won't go in. Now, I just have to make sure that they're even-ish, sort of, kind of. They don't have to be perfect, because nothing is. Not in miniatures, anyway. So I'm just going to put a little bit more glue on top, and then I have to leave that to dry. Right, what I'm doing now is I've cut six pieces of uh, skewer, like a meat skewer, um, equal and I'm making the legs because this is going to be sat against the wall but I do want it to look like it's got legs and I might just use the last piece of the chipboard to make a shelf and the way I've done it is I've just done a line using the glossy accents so I know once it's on it won't come off just done a line like that laid the first one on and the second one next to it and then glued on top of that let me just clear that like that pop the next piece on it's just to give it a different look but more of a um you know a vintage look basically so there and I've just wiped it all clean. When I paint it, when I lift it off of here, I can shave off all the glue from the glossy accents and then I can... Oops. Um, and I've done the candle. I've actually made the candle. And that's just to glue this onto the bit at the bottom, onto the dish, and then paint this black. And that will just sit on the shelf. Now I've added these just using the glossy accents but I'm going to put a couple of perfume bottles on it it's going to be painted of course and that will sit on there like that so I hope you're seeing that and I've just poured a little bit of glue down it using the hot glue gun like it's dripping so that's done I'm just going to wait for these and then we'll see where we go from there. But yeah. All of it has to be painted in a gold colour. And this, like I say, I'm not that fussed about them. They're almost dry. And I can just hang a towel or something from it. And just put some perfume bottles. Now I have some somewhere that we've made. Shown you loads of times. There are videos, so I'm not going to show you that again. Although I might do, because it depends what type I want for here but like I say it will all get painted like that 
and these legs will just sit in here and they will also be painted I need to shave them first to make sure they're all the same size so now I'm gonna to have to wait for that to dry uh, never mind that shelf we'll just take that bit off but we won't waste that bit because it can come in handy so I always do miniatures and I've always got shelves put up somewhere so that will get reused no problem I did eventually find that mirror but it was too small for the uh, item that I wanted so that's not a problem um, and I'll be back right I hope you can see this now I've got this gold paint and I'm using it's a brush leaf interiors. Uh, I've given it a good shake. And now, oops, now I've got to do is to go in here. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get a quick wipe over with this. It's dulled it a little bit, but I've got some rub and buff, which is in gold, that we will go over that as well. I might just do it with silver, actually. We can do um, silver rub and buff over it. You know... That's taken a little, it was a little bit too shiny. I'm not bothered about the mirror, I can sort that out. Just dulled it down a little bit. And then we can gloss it back up again. So, no, I've got this to do. Now, what I've done, I've taken a spacer bead, and this was used on another project, but I've changed my mind about the project. Well, I used what I needed, and then uh, I had this left. So I'm just going to use the same paint to go back over it. They were gold beads initially and I just thought what a nice bead, vintage style basketry bead it would make as a planter. And so I had these little flowers that were on a stem that I've cut. And there you go. So that's going to go on the shelf as well. Like that. So. I wanted something that was a bit ornate. And that's the only thing I could find. So we've got the candlestick, which I'll level up when it's dry. We've got the little flowers. And it was just one of those that I snipped and glued three into the bead. And I think that looks nice as a little pot. And then, like I say... um. We can polish that mirror up a little bit. Yeah, that's going to look nice. Yeah. 
yeah happy with that I don't I'm not after perfection at all supposed to be old vintage and then we've just got to do the legs in fact I'll do the legs now and then they're done I only have to make sure I've got the legs themselves done I don't have to do the top and bottom of it because they're going to be stuck down They're going to look like great vintage legs. I'm thrilled with that. Right, I'm just going to leave that all now, let it all dry. And I'll be back. Right, let's see, where are we up to? So, we've got the flower done. That'll go on the decking. I don't need that little bit got the candle done and I've just used a black felt tip for the edge like that now I've put the legs on I can trim all this off I'm not fussed about that whatsoever and I've put it on with glossy accents so it's it's really firm I need that to dry so that's going to stand up against the wall like that and then I'm going to have the flowers on there, maybe the candle on there and a couple of perfume bottles or maybe a bit of jewellery laid on there maybe, we'll see. I can change my mind altogether, I've done it many times. What I have got though is this, I think that gold trim is too big but I found this because I just wanted to... maybe put that around I think I can do it if I carefully glue that on I only need it to hold until I've got You just have to keep doing it until it works. Right, okay, so I've got that. Now, I should be able to use a glossy accent.
I think my glossy accents is actually drying up a little bit. It's not as flexible as what it was. You know, not as loose, I mean. But we shall see. All that can be painted over. As long as I get it on, <laughs> it's fine. I just paint over it all. Right, now what I've done is I've managed to find a crystal teardrop. I've put a little bead cap on it, like that, for a base. I've got this tiny little glass flower bead. Uh, into that, I need a... Sorry, what was that? Oh, a bit of string. Uh, I need a pearl. Using your nail to scrape any excess off. See? And I've made a little pearl perfume bottle. And that will go on here. Oops. Got another one there somewhere. Like that. That's about right. That's a little bit too big, so I'm going to take that off. Let me see if we've got a... There we are. I've got a smaller one. Yeah. Like that. Just clean all the excess off. So I've now got the three um, pieces to go on top of the I might not even put the lantern on, you know, because right now uh, I'm on about the lamp. We'll see. I do like the flowers. So I'm going to add the glossy accents because it's metal, so it needs to stick. Love it. Absolutely love it. Whoops. I'd love it better if it stayed. <laughs> Right, I'm going to quickly take a picture.